Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Masalo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com, and in this video tutorial number one, I'll be covering how to use the quick set stone size buttons in the TRW Stone Wizard version 3.0. So you're going to find these buttons right over here in your main interface of the TRW Stone Wizard version 3.0. You can see I have a 6, a 10, and a 16 set right now. So what we're going to do to set these and how they're going to work. So these are just basic true type fonts right here. And there's some rhinestone true type fonts that we have available on our website. This is our TRW 135 and this is our TRW 04 superscript. So to resize these and get them set, you can see I'm going to come over here and I'm going to left click on the 10 to be SS10 stones. Not all stones are 0.13 inches. Would you like to replace the stones? Yes, I would. Now this is sized perfect for SS10 stones. If I want it for SS6s, highlight my design, click on 6s, now it's 6s, and now it's 16s, back to 10s. Now if you want to custom set these quick set buttons right here, all you need to do is hold shift and left click on one of the buttons. That's going to pull up your quick set interface. So in our quick set interface, you can see I have the SS10s set to my 0.13 inches which is what I have that stone size set to. For the caption, I obviously typed in 10 and I hit save. Let's say for example, I wanted the SS 16s to be my SS 20s. Hold shift, click on the 16. If I want it to be 20s instead, I'll click on my 20s, change my caption to 20, hit save. And now every time I highlight and click on this, these are SS 20 stones. Change that back to 16s, hold shift, click on it again. Let's change it back to my 16s, change my captions back to 16, hit save, and now you can see it's changed back to my SS16 stones. One other thing you can do is if you have, let's say, SS10s, and let's say you just want to respace it a little bit. You want a little bit more spacing. I can enlarge my design a little bit. Now you can see if I left click on it, it's going to change it back to that size again. However, if I enlarge my design a little bit and I right click it, all it's going to do is change the circle sizes to 10s. And now you can see there's more spacing in between it all. If I shrink it down and right click it, now you can see it tightened up the spacing, but it's a little bit too much because we have some overlaps. So depending on if you're using a machine to place your stones or template material, you can decide how close you want the stones to go. So very easy right there. And then we do have one more option with this. And this right here is our Diva design. So you can see this has multiple stone sizes in it. So if I left click on my SS10s, it's going to ask if I want all the stones to be the same size again. I do not because I want the software to recognize if there's multiple stone sizes. So I'm going to hit no. And now you can see the larger stones are sized perfect for SS10s. And the smaller stones are the next size down, which is SS6s. So very easy to do. Whichever one you select is going to be your largest stone size. And then it will go down to the next stone size. So 16s and 10s. I'm going to left click on 16s and hit no. The bigger stones are SS 16s, the smaller stones are SS 10s. So that is your quick set stone size buttons in the TRW Stone Wizard version 3.0. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just give us a call. The number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.